so this is a video about these two MCI long lines towers. So, um, there are these two long lines towers for MCI. One of them is in Utah, so yeah, it's... So there's something weird and sad about these two MCI towers I'm gonna film for this video. So I'll show you guys what it is. Yeah, they're, um... So I got on these websites a long time ago from back when I was first finding every Long Lines Tower. And this website says that these two MCI towers, or one of them had 80 feet taken off of it. So the tower was technically made shorter. So as you can see, there's seven sections that are painted. So yeah, but it now has four sections on it that are red and white. But this is supposed to, like, be repainted when it was reduced, so it doesn't fit the FAA rules and whatnot. But this tower was actually in the middle of nowhere, because I went back a time on Street View, and in the early 2000s, it's basically a tower by itself, and it was a lot taller, and it had these great big microwave dishes on it. Because you know how MCI is with their microwave dishes. But they uh, merged with a company and they're now known as Verizon. And they sold off all their towers. So here's the other MCI tower I was talking about that was made shorter. 80 foot was taken off of it. So they, they both of these towers had two sets of incandescents. Or modern incandescents. Because most of MCI's towers are built in the 80s. And modern incandescence was their choice. So yeah, they even had two sets of side markers too. But when they was made shorter, they were beaconless. Now those um big like um, cages right there go over the microwave dishes. They're pr they're basically ice protectors, prevent the amount of ice building up on the antennas and preventing damage. So here's a picture of both towers together, and they both have been repurposed, and were both built in the 80s. So yeah, they're half towers now.